unbeknownst to me, my Oscar-winning wife, whom I'd been secretly married to for three years, suddenly acquired the ability to read minds, all the while, I was playing the role of a wicked supporting male character to match her up with her first love. On the surface, I insist on not divorcing. I said, the two of you should never think about rekindling the old flame in this lifetime. But inside, I'm cursing, your first love is almost tormented to death by me. Sign the divorce as soon as possible, I'm still waiting for the filming to wrap up to get a billion in alimony to buy yacht. Unexpectedly, the film queen did not play according to the routine. She exposed our relationship to the media. And that night, I ended up on the hot search. While filming on set, I deliberately pushed Willow's first love into the water. This broke her heart. She rushed him to the hospital immediately. According to the plot in the script, she will divorce me tonight, then coldly and ruthlessly. She will throw a billion in divorce fees in my face, telling me to get out of their sight forever. I, who was about to finish shooting, tried hard to suppress my laughter. The moment I pushed open Willow's office door, I crossed my arms and put on a death-seeking pose in arrogance. Did Makoto catch a cold? Willow looked up at me impatiently. I felt a surge of joy and sigh. Ha ha, are you mad yet for being so wicked? Did you rush to throw the divorce contract and the black card worth a billion in my face, telling me to get lost? No, he just caught a cold. Some medicine will do. Willow's nonchalant response really pissed me off. Was this the attitude of a female boss who wants to divorce? I smashed her favorite vase with one foot, deliberately adding fuel to the fire. Just on the basis of Makoto, that little punk, wants to compete with me for my wife. It's just a pipe dream. Never in this lifetime will you to be able to rekindle your old feelings, but inside. I was thinking, I've already insulted your first love to this extent. Why don't you curse me? Come on, take the chance to throw dirty money in my face. Who knew? Willow didn't show even a hint of anger. She even looked at me with interest and laughed. Don't worry, dear husband. I have not made any preparations for the black heart and have no plans to divorce you. I was instantly petrified on the spot. What does this mean? We're not getting divorced. Am I not wicked enough? It shouldn't be. I've been courting disaster everywhere just like how it's written in the book. Just as I was puzzled that the plot was going wrong. A warm hug suddenly pressed against my back. Willow hugged me gently, softly cooing. Today is our third wedding anniversary. I'll be home tonight for dinner. Make sure you tidy up. Tidy up what? I'm just a cannon fodder supporting role in the book. Makoto is your main male character. Three years ago, I sneezed into this dramatic novel full of cliches. Became the vicious ex-husband of the female lead Willow. My daily task is to variously trouble the male lead and obstruct the emotional road of the male and female lead struggling to reconcile. In order to get the 10 billion divorce settlement as soon as possible, I carry out the plot cautiously and assiduously every day. It started well. He runs, she chases, they both cannot fly even with wings. Until half a year ago, when Willow had a car accident, everything became strange. Willow tore up all the photos of her and her first love, and was indifferent to Makoto who just returned to the country. I reflected on whether the role of the wicked supporting male role was to fake. If the male lead wasn't pitiful enough he couldn't win back Willow's heart. So every time it came to the plot against Makoto, I tried my hardest and tried to get real. As a result, Makoto was tortured by me. Willow was still unmoved. I racked my brains and couldn't figure out what was wrong. Honey, you've been hiding in the bathroom for an hour. If you don't come out, I'm going in. Outside the door came the sound of Willow's playful laughter. I. Huddled in the bathtub, the hairs on my body stood on end in an instant. Didn't we agree to keep you pure and chaste from Makoto? What's this candlelight dinner? Black stockings, nurse uniform, what is she preparing at home? Although Willow's figure can be called top-notch, her face also meets my aesthetic. But this pure literature doesn't encourage physical intimacy. I'll count to three. One, to dot dot dot. At 2.97 seconds, I tremblingly open the bathroom door. Willow pinned me against the white wall. Her hand naturally rested on my shoulder. Scared. I was cursing wildly in my heart. Willow frowned slightly and pressed her finger on my lips. Shut up. Don't ruin the atmosphere. Just as I wanted to push her away, Willow's phone rang. She didn't care at all and was still trying to unbutton me. But I, with sharp eyes, saw the caller ID revealed it was Makoto. Then the evil supporting male role immediately possessed me. I pushed Willow away and snapped. 
What is Makoto calling you this late for? Quimpering. Thank you, male lead, for saving my life. On the other side of the phone, Makoto coughed lightly twice. His weak voice seemed to be able to be blown away by the wind. Liu, I'm so lonely in the hospital on my own. Can you come and accompany me? I'm not available tonight. Willow's cold attitude had me frowning at the sound of it. How could Makoto, who had been working so hard to win her over since he returned home, make no progress at all? Liu, I know you hate me and blame me for choosing to leave you in order to study abroad. But in here, you are the only one I can rely on dot 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 double quotes. Willow looked up at me. I turned my head in a guilty manner, pretending to hear nothing. After all, leaving some private space for the male and female leads is also my duty. It's a diligent supporting male role. But Willow smiles and directly rejects him. My husband will be jealous if I go out this late, if you're really bored. I can arrange for a few nurses to accompany you. I'm not jealous at all. Wish you to hurry up and make up. Stop messing with me. Okay. I don't have overtime pay for working late, you know. I grumbled inwardly. Suddenly Willow stood in tiptoe and bit me hard on the neck. I couldn't bear the pain and drew in a breath. Unexpectedly, it was heard by Makoto, and he inquired carefully. Liu, are you with Jacob right now? Willow released me. Her eyes full of warnings, she impatiently replied. Isn't it normal for me to be with my husband, Mr. Makoto? It's impolite to call a married woman in the middle of the night. Do you know that, Liu? Have you really forgotten me? Forgotten our past? You said you would only like me in your lifetime dot 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 double quotes. Makoto's voice was slightly hoarse. Even I was moved by it. Unexpectedly, Willow coldly said, Let the past be the past. Then she hung up the phone directly. I was dumbfounded, in my mind. Like 10,000 horses galloping past, are these two going to break up? The story is not supposed to go like this. You two are supposed to make up and then drive me out together. I anxiously and carefully asked Willa, you're really not going to the hospital to accompany Makoto. Her head kept rubbing against me. And she pouted and acted coquettishly. Yes, you're my husband. How could I go out and accompany other men? From now on, I will only dote on you and love you. Okay. I struggled to stretch my mouth corner. Okay dot 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 double quotes. Okay my ass. I don't have so much script. If you want to add scenes then you have to add money. Willow once again pressed her body against me. The hot gaze seemed to melt me. I stepped back in fear, but she kept advancing. Until she cornered me. Husband, should we continue? Continue dot 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 what? I swallowed hard. My eyes uncontrollably looking down. Isn't this woman usually cold? The handsome man with eight pack ABS has been lying next to her for three years, and she hasn't moved an inch. How come she suddenly went crazy tonight? Willow's face turned dark instantaneously. She grabbed my wrist, forcibly poked my hand on her waist, and complained with gritted teeth. Of course, I have to fulfill my duty as a wife so that someone can't badmouth me for being cold behind my back. A shock went through my heart. If it weren't for the god's perspective I had before the transmigration and I knew that Willow was just an ordinary domineering female boss character in the book. So apart from her money-making ability, she had no golden fingers. Otherwise, I would really think she had mind-reading ability. I laughed nervously, deliberately changing the subject. Wife, didn't the doctor tell you to pay more attention to rest? Does your head still hurts now? Meanwhile, I was thinking inwardly. I get it. It must be the car accident half a year ago that knocked her silly. Maybe when she gets better, the deviated plot can get back on track. I comforted myself inside. Willow, however, was undeterred. As she knit her buttons in a few twists, the moment her skin touched me, I exclaimed in refusal. No. A man shouldn't say no, you know. Really. No dot 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 double quotes. I flushed and weakly said. I have a bit of back pain recently. I can't do intense exercise. I hurriedly escaped into the bathroom while she was taken aback. That night, I lay on the bed and couldn't sleep all night thinking about the situation. What a pity. Why is my back hurting at this time? Otherwise I could at least collect some interest from her. The next day, Willow's heavy panda eyes scared me. She glared at me angrily. Warning, no more overthinking when you sleep. I was baffled, dot so. She didn't sleep well either. I went to the filming set and saw that Makoto had already arrived. His feeble appearances of covering his mouth and lightly coughing had even sat in the director. Mr. Makoto is still sick. Let's shoot the face-lapping scene off-centered later. 
that this stubborn young man insisted on filming it for real. I'm okay. Filming has to be taken seriously. And I can't drag the entire crew down because of my personal reasons. The director gave him a big thumbs up. Praising him as a dedicated good actor. Makoto, feeling proud. Whispered provokingly to me. Mr. Jacob. Make sure you don't go easy on me later. It is unnecessary. There's no need for him to provoke me like this. I'm even more eager to end this scene than he is. I exercised my wrist. Catching a glimpse of Willow who came to supervise the work. I instantly got spirited, skillfully putting on a cruel face, timing it just when Nakoto finished his lines. I raised my hand and slapped him, he immediately fell on the ground. Good bow. Isn't he too cooperative? I didn't even hit him, and he just fell down first. If acting like this, then I'm excited. I immediately called for a halt. I improvised lines for myself temporarily. Director, it seems like Makoto has been knocked out by me. Everyone hurried over to check on Makoto's condition. Willow, under the director's plea for help, helped him up, ready to send him to the hospital. But then, Makoto woke up, trying to maintain his good character. He was afraid Willow would blame me and quickly defended me. Don't blame Jacob for this. I accidentally fell dot dot dot. I immediately poured all on the fire, voluntarily stepping out to be scolded. No, I did it on purpose and kindly came up with the most reasonable reason for my cruelty. This slap is to remind you that Willow is not someone you can fantasize about. Makoto bit his lip hard, turning his face away with a full face of grievance, a weak and timid appearance that would soften anyone's heart upon seeing. But without me, his acting skills is just so-so. I willingly carry the blame man take the scolding. I dare to ask which malicious male supporting character could be more professional than me. I'm the next Oscar winner. Oh, ho ho. Just what I was self-satisfied in sigh. Willow threw cold water on me and Makoto. She unmoved revealed. The slap in the face just now was to fake. Jacob didn't even hit your face. Since you're okay, let's reshoot this scene. I was dumbfounded. Makoto was dumbfounded too. All the staff on site were frozen solid. At this moment, only the director came up to endorse Willow's statement. Yes, what I saw just now with Liu in front of the camera was indeed a bit fake dot dot dot. Being exposed, the two of us, caught in the spotlight. One of us awkwardly shuffled our feet, while the other kept their gaze fixed downward, too embarrassed to meet anyone's eyes. We had to reshoot this face-slapping scene. Makoto took a solid slap from me, causing his face to be instantly swollen. He turned his head away, glaring at me menacingly. I mumbled guiltily. It's all Willow's fault. Everything was going so well. Why did she have to upset the apple cart dot 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 double quotes? I'm sorry. Mr. Jacob, you're too soft-spoken, I didn't hear clearly. Ahem I mean, to Willow, your importance is just so-so. Yesterday she told me she only loved me from now on, so I advise you'd better give up the thought of chasing her early. I intentionally said these things to provoke him. Sure enough, Makoto immediately took the next action during the subsequent shooting. He tried every means to stick to Willow. He also took the opportunity to bribe the director deliberately increasing the affectionate parts between the two, attempting to make Willow reminisce about the sweetness of their first love. I took the rare idle time, always finding various excuses to escape from the scene, leaving space for the male and female protagonists. Just when I was having a drink in the nightclub, holding a girl in my arms, my agent called me, anxiously asking, why are you being cursed on trending again? I sobered up instantly, quickly opened social media. Wow. It really is. The hot search title is Jacob, the bootlicker, is addicted to jealousy. Slaps the Oscar-winning actress's first love twice on the face. The video of me slapping Makoto on the set and spouting crazy words was maliciously added in and hyped. Seeing the heat of 30 million continuously soaring video. Only then did I completely let go of my worries. Fortunately, I was worried that Willow would intervene and Makoto's slander wouldn't have any effect on me. Dot dot double quotes. What? You're worried Makoto's slander wouldn't have any effect on you? My agent held back her anger only to avoid swearing on the spot. All right, all right, I won't care about you anymore. You continue to make trouble. You're about to ruin yourself. Fueled by the why. I chuckled. May your words come true. When I'm completely destroyed after successfully wrapping up, I'll definitely give you a big red envelope. My agent was immediately speechless. Dot 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 thanks for nothing. Looking back on the three years of entering the book, I really worked hard to maintain the image of a bootlicker. 
Wherever Willow went to film, I followed into that crew. Whatever variety show Willow was on, I scurried after her like a lapdog to serve as a backdrop. After all that build-up, it was all for this moment of being universally vilified. The book says after all, the final outcome of me, the canon fodder ex-husband, is to be driven out of the entertainment circle by netizens. And then with the one billion divorce fee from Willow, rage quit to live a cool single life as a rich man. Although there are some small issues at the moment and the divorce did not go smoothly, but to be disgraced and vilified is also a speed up to my ending process. I clicked on the comment section and looked at the messages scolding me as if gold coins were smashing on my face. Excited, I hugged the girl next to me and made a promise generously. Follow me in the future. Once I get the alimony, I'll give you 100 million straight away. Played till midnight. It was the waiter who called me a taxi to go home. Unexpectedly, Willow was waiting for me downstairs. She saw me drunkenly get out of the taxi. She pulled me into the corner and questioned in suppressed anger. Don't tell me you went drinking because you were upset about being scolded by opponents. I clung tightly to Willow's thigh and complained discontentedly. Yes, I'm drinking my sorrows away. But I'm upset about why you haven't divorced me yet. Yachts, luxury cars, I've been ready long ago. Just waiting for the divorce agreement and one billion in the account. Willow grabbed my shoulders, grinding her teeth and said, What did you say? Say it again. I let out a burp. Then I passed out completely. When I woke up the next day, Willow was nowhere to be found. I couldn't be bothered where she went. Jumped out of bed excitedly. Opened the trending topics list. The term currently hanging on the homepage is resolutely resist boob liquor. Jacob get out of the entertainment circle forever. Among the angry opponents were individuals hired by my agent to improve my image. At this point, nobody could stop me from ruining myself. I picked up the keyboard and vigorously posted three social media posts to exacerbate the hate. Yes, I deliberately slapped Makoto if he dares to fancy the woman I'm interested in. He should pay the price. So what if Willow doesn't like me? I like to possess her. If Makoto dares to pester Willow again, I still won't let him off lightly. Every single word and phrase was hopping back and forth on the moral bottom line of the audience. Even my agent couldn't be bothered to control me. You're hopeless. You are ruining everything completely. I sent a message to comfort him. Isn't it just being vilified out of the circle of entertainment, a small matter? I'll pay however much the termination fee is, and give you a big red envelope as well. Consider it as my guilt for your hard work over the years. It wasn't until much later that my agent replied to me, and she was frantically shaking my phone. Jacob, you're so lucky, you know. Quickly check Willow's social media. She just officially announced you, and she's posted your marriage certificate. What? I hurriedly clicked on her homepage. Five minutes ago, Willow publicly posted our wedding photos and captioned. My husband loves me too much, so he spoke impolitely on the public platform. Please fans bear with him. Also, Mr. Makoto needs to respect himself. After all, I am a married woman. Instantly, the internet was in an uproar. Everyone couldn't believe that the passionate actress Willow, who once said in a program interview that she would never forget Makoto, would actually marry me, an unknown actor, and to protect me. She publicly clarified her relationship with Makoto. Since that's the case, Jacob is not the third party, but Makoto is. What? After so long of scolding, the one who is most scheming is Makoto. So Jacob's rant on social media was not because he's crazy, but because he was making a public statement. Shocking. I looked at the comment section, where the wind had suddenly changed, and was dumbfounded. There is absolutely no such plot in the book. I urgently called Willa, but she hung up, then texted me saying, in a meeting, I didn't delay a moment, grabbed my briefcase and rushed to her office. She, who was busy working, raised her eyebrows at me. Don't be too moved. This is all my duty as a wife, panting heavily. I glared at her and cursed in my heart. Moved my ass. What I want is a divorce from you. Divorce. Why didn't you ask for my opinion before publicizing our marital status? My slightly dissatisfied tone made Willow frown, but her voice remained as gentle as ever. What's wrong? My husband, isn't this what you've always wanted? I was rendered speechless by her. Indeed. That's what I used to say when I was her sycophantic fan. But all of that was just an act for my character image. Willow put down the pen in her hand, got up and walked over to me, 
her finger delicately wiping the sweat off the tip of my nose. Lowering her stance, she cooed at me, ever since we became husband and wife. It's always been you making one-sided efforts, three years on. Even if I were a stone, I would still be moved by you. From now on, I'll keep a close eye on you and love you dearly. Not allowing any other people to take advantage of any opportunity. Okay, I managed a stiff smile. Really? My wife, I'm thrilled, yet inside. I thought, I'm about to die of happiness. What on earth is going on with this rotten storyline? It's killing me. Just then, there was a stir outside the door. The office door was suddenly pushed open from the outside. The first person to break him was angry Makoto. Followed closely by two security guards, we couldn't stop this gentleman. He insisted on coming up, seeing Willow's cold eyes. Makoto persistently questioned her. Willow, why won't you see me, seeing this? I astutely tucked the security away and considerately closed the door to create a private space for them, because I was really worried about the follow-up situation. I quietly opened a door crack to eavesdrop on their conversation. Willow's attitude was still cold. Mr. Makoto, do you need anything from me? I couldn't help but click my tongue. It seems Willow's head was really hit silly. She disregards even the main male protagonist. Makoto slammed his fist on the table, emanating boundless anger. Willow. Why are you doing this to me? Don't you know because of your clarification? It has destroyed all my career. The old willow would never do anything to hurt me. Dot 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 double quotes. Mr. Makoto, Willow coldly interrupted him. I've already considered Mr. Makoto's past feelings. Otherwise, just based on you deliberately spending money to hire people to slander my husband on the internet, I would definitely not let you off easily. It wasn't me, Willow. We have known each other for eight years and had been together for two years. Don't you still trust my character? Makoto still defies against the odds and refuses to admit. I understand. It must be Jacob, who wanted to instigate our relationship secretly. Everyone knows he has always been targeting me out of jealousy. Willow, you must not be deceived by him. I hid outside the door, nervously pinching the edge of the door with my fingers, as per the book. The female tycoon should trust the male lead without reason. However, when it comes to Willow, things have changed. I caught a glimpse of the black credit card that was supposed to be tossed on my face. The was tossed in front of Makoto, she said. The money in here is enough for you to spend the rest of your life abroad. Never appear in Jacob banned my line of sight from now on. I was dumbfounded. Isn't this line what Willow said when she divorced me? Why is it all used on Makoto? and the black card worth a billion that should have been my deserved reward, and also given to Makoto, Willow, you dot dot dot, don't say any more, let's save the last taste for each other, then Makoto was kicked out, I didn't have time to escape and was caught red handed, he stared at me with his angry, red tinted eyes, blaming me for taking his woman, and I was also staring at him fiercely, blaming him for taking my money, Jacob, you win, in front of me, Makoto directly snapped the black card in half. At that moment, my heart was bleeding. Thinking back to these three years of traversing this book, every time I was about to give up. The one billion breakup fee was always my motivation to keep going, but this money actually went to Makoto. And Makoto didn't treasure the fruits of others' labor at all. With trembling hands, I carefully picked up the snapped black card from the ground. Wanting to cry but couldn't, could this damn card still be used? Before I could get out of the sorrow of losing one billion, Makoto's fist swung at my handsome face. This incited my anger. This way, the two of us fought from the company to downstairs, hitting flesh with every punch, showing no mercy. Until my left arm dislocated and he broke a rib, we were both sent to the hospital. Looking at the distressed Willa taking care of me, Makoto sneakily fled the hospital. I stopped him and seriously suggested to him, Wait, I think it's time for us to team up. Makoto faltered, unclear of the situation. I sighed slowly, clenched the half-black card tightly, determined. All along, I firmly believed that as long as I follow the plot, I can successfully end the filming, but I didn't expect that the plot now has drifted far away. If we do not intervene to bring the main line back, I'm afraid it won't work. Anyway, Makoto and I were originally teammates in the same trench. He wants the person. I want the money. Our goals are clear and unifying, as long as we join hands. I firmly believe that we can smoothly move towards the grand finale. That night, Willow received the news that Makoto and I were kidnapped at the same time, and she was asked to bring a ransom of one billion to rescue us. Yes, 
This is the grand play that Makoto and I teamed up to perform. I sat leisurely on the seaside rock, biting an apple, and glanced at the nervous Makoto from the corner of my eye. How's it going? Has Willow agreed to ransom us? Hmm? She's already on her way here with the ransom. Makoto was still a bit distrustful of me. He stared at my face cautiously and asked, Will this really work, whether it works or not? Do you have any other plans to win Willow's heart back? His words were stopped by my retort. I know Makoto may not believe me, but I also know that he's at his wit's end with Willow. He can only obediently follow my arrangements, beating a dead horse. I threw away the apple Koran patted his shoulder reassuredly. Don't worry, brother. As long as the plan goes smoothly, Willow will eventually come back to you. He was on guard. Why are you helping me? I'm not helping you. I'm helping myself. Soon. Willow arrived at the agreed-upon location. Makoto and I were tied up by the kidnappers. And beneath our feet was a cliff and the sea. In the dark night, Willow anxiously threw the card to the kidnapper. I've brought the money. You can let the people go. I gave the kidnapper a sign with my eyes. She put away the car and began to recite the lines we had rehearsed beforehand. Miss Liu, the one billion ransom can only save one person. Choose your first love or this bootlicker. You have two minutes to consider. Otherwise, I'll push both of them down. Are you playing me? The kidnapper was frightened by Willow's cold aura. I frantically reminded her. So she snapped back to reality and said, Well, Miss Liu, isn't it often in business wars that such despicable means are used? I'm just learning and applying to you, goat. She perfectly explained the kidnapper's identity and intentions. Next, it was Makoto's performance. Willow, you go and save Jacob. I know there is no space for me in your heart anymore. Since that's the case, it's better for me to die. I have to say, Makoto's acting skills are quite on point, weak but firm. And in his stubbornness, there's a touch of affection. He confessed deeply to Willow. I just hope that after I die, you can remember me forever. The kidnapper nudged me secretly, hinting that it was time for me to say my dying words. But I'm not at all prepared for any lines. Seeing this, the kidnapper had to continue speaking. So, Miss Liu, have you decided who should die? I want both of them to live. Willow didn't want to back down at all, but her eyes kept nervously focused on me. I guess if things were to drag on, she would choose for Makoto to die. To prevent such a thing from happening, I pretended to slip and fell straight off the cliff in the whistling sea breeze. I faintly heard Willow's heartbreaking shout. Jacob dot dot dot. Sea water kept rushing into my nostrils and ears. My body was slowly sinking. Then I broke free from the road and swam five kilometers back to the shore under the cover of night. I sat on the beach, raised my head and howled. Ha ha ha. I finally finished filming and got offline. Yacht, luxury car, beautiful women, I'm coming for a cool retirement life. Since I chose the escape death route, I have been living the single elite life that all men would envy. I took the money, instantly bought a yacht, and decided to travel around the Pacific Ocean. And also gave my sister one billion as per the promise. My sister was the kidnapper I temporarily recruited that night as an extra. She handed the champagne to me and was anxiously said, Miss Liu won't come to find us, right? I took a sip of champagne, squinted my eyes as if resting, and comforted her. Don't worry, we have run to the Pacific Ocean. Even if Willow has great abilities, she wouldn't be able to find us dot 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 double quotes. Just when I started to feel relief, there was a huge sub. I was directly shocked off the chair. I removed my sunglasses and looked around frantically. What's the matter? Is the yacht about to hit a reef fan sink? My sister carefully reminded me, Miss Liu. I came chasing after dot dot dot. I looked in the direction she was pointing. Willow was standing on another yacht. Staring at me, such stares made my back felt cold. Damn it. Willow indeed chased after. Is this fake? I'm supposed to be dead. Could Makoto have revealed where I am? The yacht was forced to stop. Willow grabbed my arm and forcibly brought me back. She didn't speak to me for the two days on the road. The huge hidden anger in her made me shrink into the corner. Not daring to talk, but I was frantically searching for ways to save myself in my heart. Otherwise, I could act as if I am not Jacob, but a stranger who looks like Jacob. Never mind. I will pretend not to know her for now. Just as I was about to speak with my dry lips, Willow beat me to it. Are you planning to deny that you are Jacob and pretend not to know me? My heart was beating fast. How did she know? Willow looked at me and sneered. 
In fact, after the car accident half a year ago, I developed the ability to read minds. And dot 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 stop swearing at me in your mind. I didn't believe her. And internally I tested her. Willow is such a big idiota. She slammed her hand heavily on the table with a dark face, gritting her teeth, saying, I told you. No swearing at me in your mind. I'm so done. Folks, who could tell me why a regular female CEO in the book would suddenly gain the ability to read minds after a car accident? Plus, she sneakily listened to my inner thoughts for more than half a year. So all the times I insulted her in my mind, she heard it all. No wonder the plotline gets more and more skew. It's truly horrifying to contemplate. Willa looked at me straight in the eye. I was afraid that she would hear my thoughts again. So I hurriedly started to recite Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. How I wonder what you are, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. After I finished, I repeated it. Until the 39th repetition, Willa couldn't stand it anymore. She walked forward, pushed me against the white wall, and angrily questioned me, Why did you deceive me? Are you so eager to leave me? Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. That's enough, Jacob. I blinked, looking innocent. But according to the plot in the book, I should have been killed off a long time ago. And besides, Makoto is your destined lover. How can I, a despicable supporting character, truly compete with him for a woman? Willow gritted her lips angrily. I don't care whether this is a book or the real world. The person I like is you, not Makoto, but dot dot dot. There is no but, even if the sky really falls. There would be tall people holding it up. What are you afraid of? The tot dot dot Makoto is here. He's standing right behind you. It's not so good to confess to me like this when he's here, right? Willow slowly let go of me and turned around. Makoto, in a white suit, was standing in the doorway. His face was tail. And his first reaction, after being exposed, was to blame me. Willow, listen to my explanation. The stage death wasn't my plan. The actual perpetrator is dot 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 double quotes. I know the actual perpetrator isn't you. He forced a smile onto his face. So dot 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 you still blame me, right? I don't blame you. Willa lowered her eyelids, her long eyelashes casting a shadow on her face. She continued helplessly. Makoto, why don't you understand? Things between us had ended a long time ago. Ever since half a year ago, after my car accident, I've been able to read Jacob's mind. And it was then, I discovered that I was actually a fictional character in a book. My sole purpose in existence was to fall in love with you, Wakoda. What to do and when to say what was predestined from the moment I was born. I honestly didn't mind any of that, but the only thing I cared for was you, Makoto. I heard Jacob mentioning that you went overseas to study as an excuse to free up time and pursue other women. At first, I didn't believe him until I personally went overseas to find you. I saw you using the same approach and tactics to pursue one woman after another. Just like me, Makoto was taken aback, hastily trying to explain. Willow, the situation isn't as you imagine it to be. My feelings for them are not the same as for you. I truly love you. Willow offered a smile and responded. I admit I did like you once, but that was the past. You can leave now and never come back in their squabble. I felt a surge of unease within me. Oh, so that's it. It was me who indirectly led to the straying of the storyline. If the protagonist and heroine were to break up, would the world within the book collapse? Would I be completely wiped out? I rubbed my arms nervously, goosebumps clearly visibly on my skin. Seeing Makoto coldly throwing the words, all right, I'll leave. Willow, hope you will not regret your decision. He then turned around and walked away. I wanted to seize the opportunity to slip away. But Willow, quick as a cat, caught me. I reflexively started reciting in my mind. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. She gently cupped my cheek, warning me in a soft voice. Husband, don't even think about escaping from me in this lifetime. Makoto truly never appeared again. I was constantly worried. Being the hateful male led who failed his mission, I would be erased by this world. But as I waited and waited, until our child was born. Started kindergarten, elementary school, middle school. Nothing strange happened. Willow retired from the entertainment circle, accompanying me fulfilling her dream of traveling around the Pacific. I sat on the bow of the boat, pondering. The plot has completely gone off track. If one day, the child and I are suddenly detached from this book, how will Willow survive on her own here? Suddenly, 
A warm body pressed against my back. Willow hugged me from behind, whispering in my ear, Don't worry, my love. If the world is rebooted, I will still find a way to find you. But what if it isn't me next time? Then I will keep waiting, endlessly waiting, until it's you.